Good morning, my name is Denise. Welcome to Suncoast Crafting. Today, we will make a snowman ornament from a kit I bought for $1.25 at Dollar Tree in September 2024. The kit comes with three wooden snowmen, three metallic threads, and three magic markers. I bought my kits and several similar ones at a Dollar Tree store near me. If you order online from Dollar Tree, there's a minimum order of 36 kits at $45. Let's make a snowman. There were some technical difficulties. I don't have a video for working on the first ornament, so we'll start with the video from the second ornament. So for $1.25 at the dollar store, I have this little kit that comes with three snowmen, three little pieces of gold thread, and three little magic markers. I'm going to start out with the magic markers that the kit came with. The green magic marker seems to be working very well. It's not bleeding out of the lines, it's staying right in the pattern. Now I'm going to work on the tree. Now let's add a little red. Now let's add a little blue. That looks nice, but I think I'd like to add some of my own magic markers and add a little more color. I found an orange and I think this would look good on the nose. I'm going to try a green on the tree. I like that effect, but I think I also went over some of the lines on the tree and I'm going to try to put them back. So I'm going to use this pen to try to put some of the lines back. There are a couple places where maybe I could have done a little better, but I like the effect. I'm satisfied with it, and I think it looks like it's got better shading. Now let's work on the hat. I'm going to use these markers 
The color is 120. I can use a thick chisel or I can use a thinner, finer tip. I think I'm going to use the thinner tip. Well, that one bled a little bit. I have to think about what I want to do, if I want to do anything at all. That looks pretty good. The back is kind of plain. Let me think about what we can do with the back of this. I could cover it with paper. I'd have to cut pretty carefully or I could do like just a big oval and not cover the entire back, just some of it. I could use paint, I could use paper. I could use more magic markers. We now return to our regularly scheduled program. I like this color, but it takes a lot of marker to cover this, and I think I would run out of my magic markers pretty fast. I would rather have a magic marker dedicated to just doing the backs on these. Was this fun? Yes, this was fun. That would make a lovely gift to give someone. It is very detailed, so keep that in mind. But it didn't take too long to color them. And you might have actual paint, you might have magic markers, you might choose pencils, there could be something else. The kit at Dollar Tree was $1.25 for three of them. And I think they look pretty nice. The snowman kit from Dollar Tree was easy to do and you could personalize it to fit your decor. If you are on a holiday budget, these kits are inexpensive and quick to put together. And they would be good gifts to pop in a Christmas card for a friend. I decorated these snowmen with markers that came with the kit. The markers give good coverage on the ornament. I'll continue to use these little markers on more crafts. I added other markers to finish these ornaments. Some of the markers bled beyond the lines. I would recommend a little marker testing as you go. Some of the detail on the kit was teeny tiny. I used a black fine point pen to redraw some of the black lines. I had fun working on these ornaments and I look forward to adding them to our Christmas tree. 
What do you think? Did I get a lot out of $1.25 from Dollar Tree? Would you do one of these crafts? Would this ornament look good on your tree? Would you give it as a gift? I am planning more videos with other kits I bought from Dollar Tree. Come back for those videos and let's see what we can do together with leftover diamond painting, scrapbooking, and quilling supplies. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to working on more projects you are interested in. Please like and subscribe and join us again for Suncoast Crafting.